it is a dark night and I have no idea what's lurking in the darkness. I just got off the bus. It's nighttime. I'm walking towards my house, but I have to walk two blocks to get there. It's around 9.30 at night. There are two young men that I had never seen on that block before. So I do the only wise thing and I cross on the north side of the block because they're on the south side. And I don't want to tempt fate, so I give them a wide berth. As I'm walking down the street, I hear a voice sternly say, cross to the other side. My mind debates with the voice. I don't know those two boys. Why would I cross on the other side? It's safe on the left side. Cross on the other side. I'm like, really? And then I get this urgent feeling of sudden danger. And I'm saying, oh my goodness. So I slowed my pace down. I'm like, Lord, is this you? Cross, I mean, the urgency just got louder and louder. And I said, okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Golly. I mean, it scared me at that point. And I'm crossing over, inching over. And now I got to walk right by these guys. I don't know what they're up to. I don't know if they're working on this car or if they're ripping it off. Those two boys weren't paying me any attention. They were fixing their car. That's all they were doing. I was safe crossing on the side where they were, on the south side. Mm. I'm curious now, because I tend to be, you know, the nosy type. Inquiring minds like to know these things. So this inquiry mind decides, well, uh, let me check over here and see. What was I avoiding? <laughs> and I look to my left. And on the north side of the street, I mean, I crossed just in time. On the north side of the street was a big, scary, burly dog, furry, glaring at me. And he was not barking. He was not wagging his tail. He looked evil. And he looked like he would have done me some real damage. He didn't make a sound. He just watched me. And I watched him. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I was fine. Why? Because God protected and warned me. And not only did he protect and warn me, he told me what to do to avoid being hurt by something I had no idea was even there at the time. When I say God looks after his little babies, idiots, dingbats, God looks after us. <laughs> he loves us way more than, than most of us believe. I'm just so glad he showed his love to me so I don't have to be convinced. But every step of the way along my life, God constantly proves his love for me and his mindfulness of me. I love my Lord. I love my God. He is beautiful, so caring. Anyway, okay, I'm not going to get emotional. Just want to let you know, God will protect you supernaturally. Got some more stories coming. Stay tuned.